Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Brett. Today we'll be showing you how to program an adept robot utilizing vision guidance and conveyor tracking. So Lindsay. Yes. You programmed a robot before, right? Yes, one time using Adept's ACE software. Now I'm not a robot programming guru or anything, and I still definitely don't know robot programming language but it was a simple pick and place application and the software made it super easy to program. Are you ready to program something just a little bit more complicated? Do I get to use the ACE software? Yes, you do. Excellent, then I'm in. Let's do this. Okay, you ready to do this? Yes. All right. So we're back to the wizards, kind of like what you did before. Okay, yep. So go ahead and hit next. Okay. Instead of fixed position, now this time we're going to say on a belt located with a camera. Okay, because you've got a belt and a camera, camera up there. there. Yep. Awesome. And then next. Hit next. Okay. So we're going to choose do not refine because what this does is once we pick up a part, we can actually pass it underneath the camera to help refine it for finer precision. In this case, we don't need that. Okay, so we'll just hit, hit next. next. And we're going to place it at a fixed position okay. because we're just going to put it in that box. Fixed position, next, All right. and finish. Okay. Okay, so you can hit next. Now we're just going to connect to the controller. Okay, so hit next. Okay, the robot, so let's turn the robot power on, so hit that button, and hit next. Okay, so this is where we change the tooling, gripping, and letting, and releasing, right? Yep. Okay, so the first one is negative 3001, yep. and positive 3001. And no tool offset because this suction cup is right down the center of the robot, so we're going to make it easy for you. Okay. Hit next. So now we're going to teach a safe position for the robot. This Tucked is, in, yep. away from the parts, can't smack them off the conveyor. Exactly. Excellent, I got yep. this. I'm going to release the brake by pushing this button. Okay, and I'm going to actually hold the button and move this up a scotch. And then I'm going to tuck this robot back in away from everything. Boom, safe? That works. All right, so we'll yep. hit here. Yep. And then next, did it click yep. it? Yep. Okay. And next. Okay, and hit finish. Okay. So now we're going to teach the camera portion of it. Okay. Hit so next. next. Found so the camera. Yep, found the camera, which is mounted up there. So we're going to hit next. Okay. And we're now going to connect to the camera. Okay. So this is just an overall live image of the part. As you can see, it's live. And this is just kind of help focus and make sure everything is good. And everything looks really good. So hit next. Okay. So now we're going to calibrate the robot. Okay. So what calibration is, is basically saying, okay, the camera's gonna see, the camera works in pixels, the robot works in metric or millimeters. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place this board, this board, which is, just has some dots on it, and these dots are eight millimeters apart. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in front of the camera, and what I want you to do is hit live, just okay. to get this all centered up and focused. Okay. Okay, so now hit stop, okay. and hit the, play, in the, hit the play picture button. Okay. All right, so now we have an image. So now click that top right hand corner, and just Here. drag it down, yep. And just in front of the boxes, away from my fingers, and just in front so we get a good majority of those boxes. Yep, and you should be able to drag the bottom up. Perfect. Okay. So now dot pitch is going to be eight millimeters because they're eight millimeters apart. Okay, so I'll change that to eight. Yep, and say calibrate. All right, so we got, just to point this out, we got an XY ratio of one. So anytime you calibrate this, the closer to one, the better. It basically means a little more accurate. Okay. Hit next. All right. Okay, so now we're just gonna teach one model, one part for it to find. Okay. Hit run. Okay, so now we found a part. And move your box just around that white image. Okay, the white part of the part. Yep. Like that? Yep, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, 
So one thing, a couple things we need to do. Press the edit button. Okay. And now I want you to say 90 degree orientation. And the reason that is, is the camera's XY coordinates and the robot's XY coordinates are actually 90 degrees off, basically due to how I have the camera mounted. Okay. So all we're going to do is just tell the robot, hey, we're flipped around 90 degrees. Okay. All right. So now hit 90 degrees and, and hit enter, enter yeah, okay. and then hit accept. Okay. All right. So now take that little uh, yellow XY coordinate and put okay. it in front of this box. Okay. Right on top of the yep. box. Okay. And what this is doing is telling the robot, this is where we're actually going to pick up. This is the XY coordinates of the robot. This is where I'm going to pick up the part. Okay. And hit next. All right. So we're going to use encoder channel zero. Okay. The encoder is right there, which is wired into the robot. Okay. We're going to move this around. Yep, we can see it working. Okay. Hit next. And this is just, again, another test to make sure the position counts are working and speed. So if I move this around, you can see the position incrementing and speed changing. Okay. So we're good there. Hit next. So now we're going to hit the limits for the robot. So this is basically telling the robot you can't go this far on either direction. Okay. So take the robot and place it, uh, place the, the robot to this corner of the, of the uh, Okay, computer. we want the part there, right? Yep. Okay, so we we'll do that. I'm gonna hit the brake, release, and I'm gonna move the robot. Um, I think that we need to move the part, actually, yep, right? Yep, I'll move the part forward just a little bit, because this is just going to be a reference point. Okay. It doesn't matter where the part is at this point in time, it just cares about the robot. Because, like, the robot can't yep. go any further. Okay. Yep, So, we'll hit here, and next. Okay. Okay, so now raise the robot up. Okay. Move the conveyor with this part on it, so we have the same reference, so it knows how far the conveyor traveled. Now move the robot to that same corner. Do that and push the brake. Then move it roughly to that same corner. Yep, that's okay. perfect. All right, so I'm going to hit here and next. Yep. Okay, now we're going to teach the downstream pick limit. This is the furthest point the robot is allowed to pick up a part. Okay. All right, so I'll raise this up, press and hold the brake release to raise that up. And we're using like... I'd say here. roughly that, but that's about as far as we can go before the robot. Because the robot has to be able to release the part over in the place position and get back in time. By the time it gets over there, it's going to be too late. Okay. And so, should I do like right at the edge of the conveyor? Yep, right okay. at the edge of the conveyor, because we're teaching the other side of the conveyor now. Okay. Like that? Yep. Okay. Here and next. Next. Okay, so now let's test to make sure the conveyor tracking is working. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up, move it slightly above the conveyor. Now turn the robot on, press that button. Okay. Now press start tracking. Okay, start tracking. So now if I move the conveyor, the robot's going to move with it and follow it exactly. And it's oh, doing that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, stop and then press next. So now we're going to teach the wait position. This is the position the robot's going to be uh, where it's going to wait for a part to get into its picking area. Okay. So move the robot roughly. It's actually pretty close, but move it a little bit higher and roughly in this area. Okay. And I want to make sure that the camera can still see everything, right? Yes. We want to make sure the robot's out of the way so it's not blocking the view of the camera. Okay. So is that okay? Uh, move it just back just a little bit. Yep. Okay. That's good. And then right. lower it down just a little bit. Because the less the, the robot has to go, the easier, the better. Okay. All right. All right. Press here. here. And next. Okay. So as you can see, the robot's still all the way. But now I'm just going to get it completely out of the way. Because now we're going to teach the part on the conveyor. Okay. And how the robot's going to pick it up. So I'm going to place these parts on the conveyor. Okay. <clears throat> now press the run button. Okay, so now based off the model that we taught before, it found all three ports, all three parts, and it found its XY coordinates. Okay, so hit next. Yep, so hit next. All right. Now it labeled them. One, two, and three. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. So we need to remember that order. Okay, so one, two, three in the middle. Yep, okay. two is closest to the end. Okay, so, so hit, hit next. next. 
Um, so now I'm going to move the parts to the general robot pickup area, which is roughly right about there. Okay. Now hit next. Okay. So now we're going to teach the robot where on the part we want to pick it up. So it wants us to teach part number one, which is this part right there. So move the robot to that little box. Okay. And get about as centered as possible. Is that good? Okay, that's good. Hit here. Yep. And next. So now we need to teach that part for number two. Okay. Okay. Here and next. Now teach number three, which is in the middle. Now, we need to teach more parts. The more parts we can teach, the better. Okay. So it's going to require us to teach about three more parts, and that's typically the minimum. But again, the more parts we can teach on this, the better. Okay. So I'm going to take these, and I'm going to flip them around 180 to give her a different orientation. Okay. And we're going to go through this process one more time. Okay, so hit next. Hit next. Okay, again, we found the part. That's good. Okay. Hit next. So now it's, it labeled them four, five, and six. So this one's gonna be a little four, bit easier. Five, four, six. five, and six. Okay. Next. Okay. Let's pick this up. Now we we'll move the robot over there. Move the parts. Okay. okay. So now we're there. Hit next. So now it teach part number four. Okay. The pickup position. Is that okay? All right, so here and next. Number five. Okay. okay. Next, and number six. Okay. So okay. we've minimum amount of parts. So now just say calibrate with these current set of points Okay. and hit next. All right. And again, just like before, the closer we can get to that scale factor of one, the better. So we're actually really close. We did a good job at that time. Okay. Yep. So hit next. Next. And finish. finish. And all that's left to do is tell the robot where to drop the part. So we're okay. going to drop it right above that box. Okay. So next. All right. I'm going to release the brake. Pull up my z-axis and lower it just a smidge still or just a little bit we don't want okay. to lower it too far and hit a limit like that yep okay. that'll work all right so we're gonna hit here, here. and next and, and finish. finish all right Woo. everything's programmed for us we didn't have to write any code at all all the codes just hanging out in there ready to ready to work let's try this thing out all right. so first step is power turn the power on Okay, now okay. I can hit my play button. Hit your play button. Oh, I hope this works. <laughs> okay, so the robot's in the wait position, ready okay. to go. Let's turn the conveyor on. Okay. Conveyor's on. Put this part in front of it and see what happens. Yep, we missed the first part. Nope, not that one. There okay. we go. Now Just it's ready to want go. want us to wait in anticipation, I suppose. I think so. I don't like that one. All right, let's try some more. This is cool. All right, I'm going to try it like this, like something crazy. That wasn't very crazy. Still picked it up in the same location. That's crazy. Still Look picked it up and it's orientated. Now, by the time it puts it in the box, it's orientating it. Still picked it up and placing it. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Pretty easy. Woo. So, Lindsay. Yes. What do you think of adding vision, guidance, and conveyor tracking? Well, there were a few more steps than last time, but the software still walked me through step by step how to get everything up and going, so it was super easy. And programming multiple robots working together is just as easy. Oh, I'm super excited. I can't wait for that video. For additional information on the Adept line of robots from Omer Automation, 
or to see how these robots can help you solve your applications, give us a call. We'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link. Thanks, Thanks for, watching, for watching and be safe, safe out there. there. Beat you.